This is a Dell Optiplex 990, and uh, this is the desktop version, and we are going to upgrade the processor. So I've already removed the side cover, and what we're going to do is we'll remove these four hold downs for the heatsink, and that will allow the processor uh, heat sink to come off and gain us access to the processor and I think we'll go ahead and upgrade the RAM while we're doing this. This one has 4 gig, it's got two, 2 gig sticks so let's um, pop these out and we'll upgrade the RAM while we're at it. So now we'll get the RAM out take these screws out and I like to go opposites the heat sink pull it off we'll have to clean that up we'll release this little tab and let the arm pop up and then we can grab the processor this is a i5 something I don't remember just know it's an i5 I've got a i7 2600 it's got these two indentions on each side if you look right there what amount indention there indention where's my finger right there that lines up to the two indentions on the processor so we'll take it, be very careful with it, and then we close this, push that down, and it's locked into place. So let me... Um, Get some thermal paste and let me also clean that up. All right I've got a thin coat of arctic silver also kind of wiped down the area there was some dust on it not the processor but this uh, hold down had some dust and stuff on it so I wiped that down real good um, and then we're ready to put the heat sink back on I've got it all cleaned up I said I just put a real thin coat of arctic silver on there I don't want to put it too thick. So we'll set this down. And when I go back together with it, I like to alternate also, but I don't tighten them down all at once. I just start them. Just try to keep it pressed even. Let it tighten down even so it doesn't crank down on one side all at once. they're all tight and then we plug it back in 
and it's time to install the RAM. So I've got four 4 gig sticks that we will be installing. So here's the first stick. second stick. I'm pairing them up. These are pulled from other working systems. Um, they're all the same kind. They're all Samsung. You can see two of them are this lighter green. Two of them are the more of an army green. So I'm just pairing them up. You know, the same model and everything. That's how they came out of two different systems. And so I'm pairing them up like they came out. So that they are running on the same channels. So this will give us 16 gigs of RAM. And I'll just double check, make sure they're all pushed in all the clasp went in and we're done. You know, I'll get my compressed air and blow that fan off a little bit but processor upgrade is done. I'll boot it up and we'll check it in the BIOS in just a second. So we are in the BIOS. Let me go into the uh, let's just go into system information. So as we can see i7-2600, 3.4 gigahertz, and we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gig, 4 gig, 4 gig, 4 gig, so we're good. I'll probably go ahead and download a, I gotta install OS on here, but once I do I'll probably go ahead and, up and uh, download a BIOS upgrade. But. Anyway, thanks for watching.